So I'm right here with Dr. Joe Mikhail, the one and only, the one and only. Thank you for coming to the first annual Hemang Pulse Live meeting. We're going to hold you on for the second annual happening next year. Count me in, man. Wouldn't miss it. So uh, we did uh, an unanswered questions on CAR T cellular therapy. What are what were your reactions? I mean, did we address all of the questions? Do you think we missed something? Maybe summarize a little bit of your reactions to that session. Sure. Yeah. I mean, there are so many questions in CAR T, but what I really liked about our session is that it just sort of naturally landed into two camps, right? There was the scientific questions, right? The mechanism of resistance. Can we apply this to solid tumors? You know, is aloe CAR-T going to be feasible and what mechanisms can we make it happen? And so we had a really good discussion around the sort of the science behind it. And I thought that was very valuable. But what I also loved is we had the real practical side of it. How are we gonna increase access to CAR-T? How are we really going to introduce it earlier in the disease course in multiple diseases? Of course, myeloma being the most interesting of those diseases, but uh, of course, of course. Uh, but how are we going to use it in earlier line? What sequencer are we, we going to be using it with biospecifics and others? And then just some of the sort of pragmatic things that we need to learn about CAR-T, about longer term toxicities and how we best manage them. So it was really amazing how we got to all of that covered in yeah. a very interactive style in a short period of time and I really engaged the crowd. And we also really talked about, I mean, one of the things that were really important uh, when we talked about secondary malignancies, to me was putting things into perspective because yes, you should always worry about secondary malignancies, but gosh, you have a malignancy that you need to control first before you worry about the next one. I couldn't agree more. I mean, our oldest adage, above all, do no harm, right? right? So I never want to introduce anything that could harm my patient. On the other hand, as you said, it's all a question of balance. When I think of so many of my patients that have benefited from CAR-T, these are patients who had a malignancy in front of them that was likely to take their life in the next year. Um, and so f to have a, a low percentage risk of secondary malignancies is less worrisome. That being said, I think as we apply it more broadly, as we use it earlier on, we need to understand those mechanisms a bit better. We want to truly understand what the incremental risk is of CAR-T compared to the diseases themselves. The diseases we treat with CAR-T have a risk of second malignancies even independent of CAR-T. So that incremental risk becomes important. I think we'll have a better handle on that in the years to come. Joe, couldn't be happier that you're part of this program and look forward to having future programs. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. I look Thank forward you. to it always, my friend. Thank you.